Voters across mid-Michigan hit the polls yesterday to vote on several school bonds and millages. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of those results this morning. Starting in East Lansing, voters narrowly approve a nearly $94 million school bond. 51% of voters said yes, 49% said no. That's just a difference of 145 votes. The bond will fund the construction of five brand new elementary schools as well as renovations at Red Cedar Elementary. Construction should be finished by 2021. The bond will increase the tax bill on a $100,000 home by $90 per year. And in Hazlitt, passing with a wider margin, a non-homestead millage renewal for Hazlitt Public Schools. 85% of voters said yes to the millage renewal. The proposal will cost the owner of a $100,000 home property about $1,800 per year more. Now moving on to Bath, where voters approved a 25-year millage renewal for Bath Community Schools. The $14 million millage will go towards security and technology upgrades and parking lot improvements. It was approved by 73% of voters. Moving to Jackson County, where voters approving a special education millage renewal. Now 85% of the funding generated will go towards local school districts for special education costs. The rest will go towards the Jackson County Intermediate School District. More than 10,000 voters said yes, just under 4,000 said no. Also in Jackson County, the Hanover Horton School District bond proposal, the spring Arbor Township Road Improvement Millage and the Jackson County Mental Health Services Millage all passed yesterday.